Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can transfer funds, in this case KSM, between Kusama and StateMine. The same procedure applies if you want to transfer DOT tokens between Polkadot and StateMint. StateMine and StateMint are systems parachain and they're dedicated to managing assets. So we are talking about fungible and non-fungible tokens, the so-called NFTs. This type of transferring tokens are called teleports and they are essentially different from uh, normal transfers. We have a, a transfer fee from uh, the sender chain and a receiving fee from the receiver chain. And it is important that when we are doing teleports, uh, the balance on uh, the sender account is uh, at least the teleport amount plus the fee that is required to transfer from the um, from Polkadot to StateMint in this case. And um, similarly, on the, the receiver chain, it is important that uh, the teleport amount uh, minus the receiving fee that is applies, applied on this chain is uh, bigger or at least uh, as big as the existential deposit. Because uh, if it's not like this, the account on the receiver chain will be ripped. Ripping can also occur on the sender chain. This happens when um, what is left after we have teleported the amount and we paid for the transfer fee, what is left in the account is less than the existential deposit that is needed on, uh, on this chain. But let's see this uh, in a practical example. Here we are on the Polkadot.js user interface. We're currently connected to an RPC node on the Kusama network. And we have two accounts, the KSM stash and the KSM controller. These are injected account from the extension. We can actually double check this and we can see that um, these are two visible account on the browser extension. What uh, we want to do now is um, first to recall what a balances transfer is. When we are specifying that we want to transfer a specific amount within the same chain, uh, we will receive that amount after actually uh, paying for transfer fee. So in this case, if we want to send between the stash and the controller, and um, we specify the amount, 0 0.02 KSM, the KSM controller will receive 0 0.02 KSM and um, after paying for, uh, for transaction fees. And we can see here, these are the fees that uh, we, will, we will pay with the KSM stash. We are signing with the KSM stash account, right? We can see we received 0.02 KSM. We, we had already the existential deposit for this account. That's why we are seeing this, uh, this three at the end. So what happened here is uh, we transfer tokens, KSM tokens within uh, the relay chain, the Kusama relay chain. So we pay the transaction fee uh, with the KSM stash, but we actually receive the uh, amount that we wanted to, um, to receive. So this is not the same, th the same thing when we are teleporting assets. We will have a fee on Kusama to, um, to pay for the transaction, but then we will also have a, a fee from the other, on the other side on state mine. So if we specify a specific amount, we will receive a little bit less on uh, the, um, the receiver chain. So let's do this. We click on teleport. We want to transfer from the uh, KSM controller. This is the, the sender account and the destination chain is state mine. We are sending to the KSM controller. We can actually um, specify another receiver, but here for simplicity, we just leave the controller and we specify the amount 0.01 KSM. We click on teleport. We sign with the controller account. We can see now some uh, balance has been deducted from the KSM controller on Kusama. We can go and check on state mine. We can see we received 0.0099 KSM on state mine because we paid for the uh, fee on the receiver chain. So we didn't actually receive 0.01 KSM. And this is different from uh, when we are sending tokens within the same chain. We have seen that uh, when we are specifying an amount, this is the amount that we actually receive 
on the receiver account. This is not the case when we are teleporting assets because of these two fees. Another difference is that uh, when we are sending within the same chain, we can actually uh, select a transfer keep alive check so that uh, we make sure that uh, the sender account uh, stays alive on, the, on chain and is not uh, getting ripped. This is not the same thing when we are uh, teleporting assets. So we go back to Kusama. We are left here with 0 0.0096 KSM tokens. So now we will try to send exactly 0 0.096 KSM from Kusama to StateMine. We go again on uh, Teleport. This stays the same as before. We specify the amount that we want to send. We click on Teleport. And uh, remember, this transfer must fail because we cannot send exactly the amount that we have on the account because we don't have uh, enough funds to pay for the uh, sender chain uh, fee and the receiver chain fee. In this case, the transaction will fail and um, we will pay anyway for the sender fee. So for the Kusama um, for the, for the transaction fees on Kusama. So here we are, this uh, error message failed to transact asset. We were not able to, to send the KSM tokens because as I said, we were not able to cover for all the fees that are um, necessary when we are teleporting assets. Some uh, tokens have been deducted from the balance and these are the fees that um, the transaction fees on Kusama. Because of course, uh, we paid for the work that has been done on the Kusama chain to try and uh, make this uh, teleport uh, transfer. How can we make sure that we can successfully teleport these uh, tokens here? We need to know the uh, transaction fees on the Kusama chain for this type of uh, transaction. So we go on uh, teleport. We leave this as it is. We are not. We don't want to make a teleport transfer. We just want to know the fees that are needed. Here we can see 646 micro KSM. So we can uh, go back, and uh, we have this amount. And from this amount, we have to deduct these transaction fees. So we specify the uh, amount that we have currently in our account then we deduct the transaction fees. These are the transaction fees already converted from micro KSM to KSM. And the amount that we can transfer is 0 0.0083 KSM. If we transfer this amount, then the account that we have, the, the KSM controller account on the Kusama Relay Chain will be ripped because we will not have enough funds to, to cover the existential deposit. If we want to keep that account on chain, we need also to deduct the existential deposit. This is the existential deposit that is currently needed on the Kusama relay chain. So the balance that we can uh, transfer is uh, 0 0.008 KSM. We specify the number of KSM tokens that we, we want to transfer. We click on teleport. We sign with the controller. We can see here we are left with the existential deposit. So our KSM controller is, uh, is on chain, so it's not, uh, it's not ripped. We go back and uh, on state mine, and we can see we received the KSM tokens on the KSM controller on the state mine uh, parachain. Right, I hope you learned something today about uh, teleporting tokens, in this case, KSM between Kusama and state mine. Thank you for watching.